So we're here tonight for the first Dream Act Inspire, which is the first event where we are focusing on celebrating people with purpose. And it's all about giving social entrepreneurs, uh, funded by Unlimited, a stage to really share their stories, but also to really make sure that they inspire the movement of people out there who really want to make a difference in the world. There were some really good, really good talks with some people who are doing some really, you know, um, different and innovative stuff. So it's kind of definitely motivational to, to see if I can get involved myself. I used to be a teacher and I bumped into a couple of my students and seeing that these things like something like tonight is actually reaching out to them is, is amazing. I'm a youth worker myself so I'm finding a lot of the unlimited winners, their story is very interesting uh, and quite inspiring as well. My name's Luke Rogers, the, the, the business is Foster Focus and any advice for anybody going to get into social enterprise is to never give up. Any challenge or stigma that's put against you, for me being a young person a care leaver, just challenge it and keep going. I think it's just excellent to, be, to see people going you know what, I don't, I don't actually like this very much, so you know what, maybe I want to do something about it. Yeah. And I think that is, uh, that's just the root of progress. For somebody like myself who is very much of the opinion that you, know, you kind of have to have a fixed profession, you know, but is now trying to spark out and do my own social enterprise, I just think it's really exciting because it gives you that impetus to think, yeah, this is something that I can do. A dream remains a dream. If no action is taken, by taking actions, you know, bring your dreams into reality. I think the key thing that stood out is what success means to a social entrepreneur and there's a consistent theme around um, struggle over, uh, over adversity and really then wanting to give back as a result. Is success determined by your bank balance? Is it determined by how many people you influence? Is it determined by your personal state of happiness? I suppose it's personal to each individual but I think it's something that particularly as social entrepreneurs, we should be regularly thinking about. Failure is not a problem, it's actually a lesson learned. So if you want one lesson, just learn from everything that you've done. It was good to kind of hear about their personal journeys and um, it will be great to also hear a bit more about their journeys of their social enterprises going forward. So we're looking forward to the next sessions. And now it's really about taking this further. Uh, making it happen all across the UK and possibly further in the world and getting loads of people involved. We'd love to hear from you. Connect with us online and through our website and hope to see you soon.